started girls lacrosse in Ithaca. In the late 1980s, three hockey players approached Lou about starting a girls lacrosse team, feeling it would be a perfect complement to a long winter on the ice. Lou went to legendary athletic director Bill Bryant, who we are so honored to have in attendance today. And with Bill at the helm, the Ithaca High School Girls Lacrosse Program was born in 1987. Now, if you polled all the girls who played during the Coach B era, there is no doubt that he would be named the most beloved coach ever. to drag a story out too. So, to watch Coach, no oh wait, I lied. Okay, his love of the game, his understanding of kids, and his legendary wit endeared him to hundreds of athletes and thousands of students. To watch Luch Coach was always a pleasure. His passion for the game was infectious and inspiring. He had so much knowledge, but he was always eager to learn. For 27 years, Lou was a steadfast force in the program, and everyone associated with Ithaca Lacrosse appreciated Coach B. One of the most impressive and progressive things about <laughs> Just use your coach's voice. <laughs> Hello? Oh? Hello? All right, there we go. All right, we'll get through this, I promise. So, one of the most impressive and progressive things about Coach B was his philosophy. After starting the club program, Lou worked with Bill Bryant to find a female coach. When I asked him, when they asked me to take over the varsity, I remember asking him why. And he told me that he believed that young female athletes benefit most from being coached by female coaches. Alas, after the 2013 season, the time came for Lou to hang up his whistle and spend a little more time with his fishing pole and his honeydew list. Fortunately, he continues to support the program and any time he shows up, you see the genuine excitement in the faces of all who had the honor of being coached by or working alongside Coach Billington. I would be remiss if I did not also thank and acknowledge his wife, Pam, who put up with all that the coach of a spouse, a spouse of a coach must endure for all those years and is here today to celebrate with Lou. Lou, from the hundreds of young athletes who have gone out into the world and done many great things, I know I speak for Coach May, Coach Mack, Coach Merkel, Coach Murphy, Coach Hoffe and myself, when I thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all you did for the guys, both girls across. <laughs> 